welcome to the 2023 NASCAR Indy Annapolis weekend. I will be documenting it, bringing you along for the ride. We're going to start here at IRP for at first the Arca race and then the camping or the sorry Craftsman Truck Series playoff. A bunch of Dutch flags. What's that for? I, I don't know. Just checking out whatever is down behind the grandstands, which is usually where the merch is at IRP, but there seems to be nothing much today. I have found the man, the myth, and the legend, Brayton Laster. Hi, Brayton! Pictures right now. I could literally scream at him and he would hear Plays him through the field in the Shear Speed Toyota. The driver out of Illinois in car number 98, that is Dale Shear. And on the inside of row number 10, he's got a lot of fans here tonight. The driver from Greenwood, Indiana. Woo! In the auto repair of instickers.com Chevrolet, the 01. How about it, Indiana fans? Brayton Lester. Woo! Chevrolet. Hey, Daily Dollars. Garrett. Row number cool. six has two Indianapolis area young stars. Zachary. It's Tingle. Start out of Martinsville, Indiana. The George E. Booth Company LLC came up and put himself right on the starting grid here tonight. The driver, car number 93, Isaac Johnson. Good luck, Isaac. Racing town and back to the Speedway, Indiana. The Racing for Rescues, Fast Track Racing.com, Toyota. Okay. Car number 11, it's Zachary Tinko. Woo! Michael Tides. On the outside of the 18 for Meaden Prairie, Minnesota. And the Starkey Sound Gear, Toyota. William Solowich. Woo! And inside, he's been spectacular this year. Woo! From Redwood okay. City, California, the JPL Toyota. Please welcome your Grand Marshal, Customer Sales and Executive of Emerging Retail, Dave Szymanski. Get cutting out. Indianapolis, are you ready?
75 wins.
Tyler Renfrum is stopped on the track. I don't know if this is a mechanical issue or a skill issue. Going green.
watching the Benedetto for this week.
And he didn't even burn it down. Come on. Starting to unbuckle and get himself set up. I believe this is Xfinity practice because it was scheduled to be qualifying right now, but um, it's been raining all morning, so uh, yeah, it's starting to get that smell as well. <laughs> See, so you have the sound, the smell, and soon the sun. So for today, we have uh, seats, it, we have the like flex seating thing, so we can either sit, we're either going to sit in turn one or in turn 12 like we did last year. Um, right now, we're going to go to turn one, just see, like, how it looks, what it'll be like, uh, because that's where we're sitting for Sunday, and then we're going to move over to turn 12 for cup practice and qualifying. Destination is straight ahead. Welcome to Overpriceville. Lineup is not entirely accurate. This is a really good uh, unsanctioned NASCAR hauler right here. It's always at Indy, but it's really good. I see Come something. Come on over here to the States, and you're going to do some racing. I see something. They have used you up. You are everywhere. I've seen you three or four places already today. something. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been awesome. a pleasure to be here so far. I've um, yeah, had an amazing week and spent a lot of time at the GM Technical Center in uh, Charlotte. This is so cool. Oh, my God. Welcome from everyone else on racing. Straight really from Le Mans. For you to, to spend that time on the sim. Look at that. And then you come out to the Working track. headlights. All the way yeah, well, um, and tear. Obviously, we, we really don't get too much practice time here, so we get 20 minutes in the car and then straight into qualifying. So it's, uh, yeah, it's a baptism of fire. Um, but uh, yeah, obviously, using the uh, simulator there at the Jam Technical Center is. Uh, Tony Sustecki, right there. First find. First show car sighting. Oh, that's exciting. Nice. I like this game. First actual cars that we will see today. There's that Harvick machine. I actually saw Kevin Harvick riding around on a golf cart. Uh, Byron's crew members. Oh, you know, it's just amazing. Again, they're very uh, abbreviated practice. It's one of the one of the points of uh, that's how I'm best with baby. You've got very little time to figure it out before I hear people happens. rumbling. Here we this go. This is a 20 minute practice session right. here uh, in road course racing. Bell. Uh, no, that's him.
Started. Reddick fastest in Group A. Suarez has advanced, uh, and Brody Kostecki and Shane are both in this group. So that's cool beans. Um, why are we on board with Logano? He was in the last group. What? All right. Uh, where are cars? <laughs> they picked the wrong camera. Ah. Uh, Should be seeing at least one over here soon.
Aussie and I want, I think. Now four wide. 
Cologne backed out, and then it was contact with Cologne and Armstrong that sent the 11 car around. And that spun Dixon, Marcus Erickson gets in the back. We've heard of the three wide Marcus Armstrong in the middle. Cologne just hits his left rear, spins him. Out to Cologne, and out of the way. Cologne gets in the back, and Dixon spins Dixon. There's duct tape on the side of that car now uh, than the last time they left pit lane.
this uh, uh -oh. first uh -oh. pace lap. So keep an eye on that. This is the sixth of eight road course races this season, Alan, and the, the next race. Uh, Check and see it road speed. That means one to green well. next time, guys. Going to green, green, but off in the distance. That is extremely menacing. Anyway, pace car right there. You better focus. And eh, whatever. I don't care Alright. And we're also under chaos. And that's 
good, Alan, because uh, with the amount of rain that we had, you had the last... Winning our mayor paying for slinks. And Chandler Smith, Parker Retzlaff, or Retzlaff, or I don't know how to pronounce it. Indeed. Bailey Curry. Oh my god. This is either going to completely pay off, or they're all going to wreck and turn off. One lap to grade. Single file restart. Here we go. And Ty Gibbs. Yay.
No way, nobody and right. The lead still side by side. Mayor with a nice drive off of turn number two to close off from Cole Custer and hang on. Yeah. 
final day of our three-way, three-way, th three-day weekend here at Indy. Uh, I'm currently on the way to the Bob Parker's tweet up. It is in the infield right by the pagoda. Um, and then, yeah, like, race starts in like four hours, so we have plenty of time. We have arrived at the tweet up. Listen, head over there. Doug. Well, after meeting Brayton last year, which was very cool, now we are at Kyle Larson's uh, IndyCar reveal, and then there's also a NASCAR right there. Maybe his 2024 primary? I don't know. Fast lane. Yeah, I'm going to be there. I saw Rick Hendrick over there. No, where, where did he go? Huh. Setting up for the car reveal. Woo! Felix Rosenquist and Tony Kanon are up there. Wait, where's Pato? Where's Pato? He's got to be up there. Cool B. Rick. Rick. There are so many legends just in that general area right there. There's Larson, Roy Kendrick, uh, Cliff Daniels is on the other side. Are we going? And so has Rick Hendrick. And we're ready to show the world what that truly means. It means joining a few who have attempted the Indy 500 and the Coca-Cola 600 in the same day. Like no other, Rick Hendrick and HendrickCars.com have given me a chance to make history. Come. Motor Speedway. It is Verizon 200 day, and we are just under 290 days from the 108th running of the Indianapolis 500, and going to Charlotte and doing the 600, and on that day, the Hendrick 100 and Kyle Larson behind the wheel will take place. We are so excited. But before we get started, let's give a big shout out for the winner of the Knoxville Nationals who got in this morning at 4 a.m., Kyle Larson. You know, we've been blessed in our sport with some unbelievable race car drivers who are unbelievably versatile. A.J. Foyt, Mario Andretti, Jeff Gordon, Jimmy Johnson, and the newest one, Kyle Larson, can win in anything he gets in and legitimately has a chance to win the Hendrick 1100 by winning the Indy 500 and going to Charlotte and winning the 600. We cannot wait to see it next year. Before we get started and we bring Kyle up here, I do want to introduce some of our celebrities and VIPs that are here today. First, it doesn't happen without two of Kyle's going to be driving in the Hendrick 100 next May. Excuse me, the Hendrick 1100. He's one of the most successful. So, was it hard for Kyle to convince you to do this? Not, not much. Here are the seats. Seal hands down. My tires ship fast and free. Arrived the next day like clockwork. Tire even gave me two years. Pretty good, I'd say. Yeah, it's going to be a good day. Driver intro is starting soon. It, uh, it is currently 1.40 p.m. So, yeah. Shane. 
And they are race fans, the drivers getting ready to race in the Verizon 200 at the Brickyard.
kills out onto the straightaway. And what happened here to Haley?
crap, man. I knew it was gonna happen. I knew it. Oh, look at this. What a burnout. It has been a driver's second career win. Woo! Well, after a long weekend of fun racing, I... Well, it's over. <laughs> Man. I hope you guys enjoyed me bringing you guys along for the ride. I'm sorry that this video was so long. But I did get some very good photos of all of them posted to my Instagram, which will be linked down in the description below. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!